How do we get in there? Do we just choose a side? Discovered more cool stronghold. Nobody understand true art. Can I? I could. Nice. Okay. So in here we go. We have two more to go, so let's see what this one's all about. Hello. I know you. You're one of those outsiders that Kurag brought to our land. I heard you've done some amazing feats, but I'd rather you didn't linger in my stronghold. Uh, okay, but King Kurag requests your presence at the Great Moot. Sorry, but I have problems of my own right now. As long as my Forge wife is miserable, I can't deal with anything else. I wonder, does King Kurag have a solution for volatile family disputes? I'd definitely listen to him speak on that topic. I'd definitely listen... Uh, okay, well, if... If I assist your Forge wife with her problems, will you agree to attend the moot? If you're brave enough, talk to Lasgal and do whatever she asks. If you can finally get her to stop yelling at me, I'll go and <laughs> listen to whatever Kurag wants to say. Sounds good. This sounds like a typical husband and wife situation here. Uh, he, she won't stop yelling at me. All right. Where is she? This is a pretty cool. This is a pretty cool location. I like this place. Fool girl. She'll get herself killed. Uh Hello? Children. Never have them. What? The king insisted on a mortal daughter for his forge wife. <laughs> but then he decided to pass over my eldest. Now Ashika wants to prove him a fool for marrying her little sister. What do you mean? Malaketh alone knows why Ashika ran off. Wounded pride sent her to mortal descent, no doubt. Idiot. The girl will end up as Ogre Dun or a spider hatchery. Okay, I'll head to Morkul descent and find Ashka. Ashaka. Running off to Morkul descent is why Ashika's still unwed. Finding glory in old relics instead of at the king's side? He'd have chosen her if she wasn't so headstrong. I have some questions though. Go on, ask. What do you know about Morkul's descent? Old clan legend says it's full of relics. Every few years, a new crop of idiots runs off <laughs> there to get killed. You want to know what's in there? Ogres and spiders the size of ogres. Whatever. Tell me about the relics in Morkul's descent. I can tell you how long it takes steel to melt. You want old stories? Go ask a poet. So why did the king choose Ashaka? Ashaka thinks she's steel in a world full of iron. For all the king blusters, she'd challenge him at every turn. Her little sister is content to just run a forge. Easy choice. Also, I punched his mother. <laughs> you what? Now it was years ago. Alga said the breastplate I made her son was adequate. Skill with a word from a Daggerfall parlor. Pah! Didn't help that Ashika's first dagger had Alga's tooth forged into the hilt. <laughs> Worth it though. <laughs> well, all right then. So I guess we're going to the descent. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the other quest. Got it. Uh, oh my God! Now we gotta go way back there. It'll be faster if I just fast travel here and then just go in that direction. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It'll save us from some unnecessary you know travel time so there's that okay so where's this exactly literally right around the corner very nice what is that that sounded weird let me see if I could get lucky again no I'm not gonna get lucky well <gasps> I'm dead. No, I'm not. 
My god, dude, I am getting lucky. Is it here? We found it. That was easy. Morkel Descent. Legend holds that uh, before they built the surface, the earliest or... Okay, whatever. I didn't want to read it anyways. So there's trolls and spiders and all kinds of stuff apparently here. So we got to be careful. I don't see anything at all. As a matter of fact, it kind of feels like there's a clan living here or something. Oh, I digress. Hello. Nice. Annulment can now be morphed. So can focus charge. Let's get toppling charge. Do we have anything else slotted that could be morphed? Annulment is light armor. Uh, each piece of light armor worn increases damage abs uh, absorbed, increases shield, cap value. Uh, restores magic uh, whenever you absorb damage. Ooh, this... I think I'm gonna go with Dampen. What about... Uh... Weapons. Nothing... Oh my god, dude. I could be doing a lot more damage. What am I doing? Okay, I got, I got some stuff to do. I'll do that off camera, though. I thought I was finished with this build. Apparently not. Haha! -ha. I could be doing a ton more damage. Hey, there she is. Ashaka. Or Ashaka. Whatever. I'm pronouncing that horribly. Who are you? It doesn't matter. The hand of Morkel is mine. Once I find it, which is harder than I thought. That's why you're here, isn't it? Actually, your mother sent me to find you. She... What? <laughs> Why? She's worried about uh, your attempt to embarrass the king. My what? Does she even listen to me? She never listens. Honor of the clan, I say. You'll find someone soon, she says. <sighs> Alright. She sent you here to help? Good. Help me find Morkeldin. What is Morkeldin? The long-lost home of Morkel clan. The old poems say it was buried in ice and stone marked thrice. See the statues? Morkel's stonework and very old. Morkelden has to be nearby, but I. Well, maybe you can find the way in. What do those statues represent? The old poems of Morkelden's founding mention a heroic trio who rebuffed winter's grasp and found haven beneath. Maybe they saved the clan from a tunnel collapse. Oh, there's some writing at the base of the statues. Couldn't make sense of it. Are you certain those statues are the key? Buried in ice and stone marked thrice. The statues must reveal the way inside. I think there's an order to lighting the braziers, but I can't get it to work. Oh god, I hate puzzles. Maybe if we just... Okay, so there's one right there. One right here. And one right here. Alright, let's guess. This one. This one. Then I guess. This one. Well, that wasn't right. Let's let's do the exact same thing. Wait. Okay, let's let's try the same thing, but but backwards or the other way. Let's do this one, then this one, then the other way around, or the uh, one on the opposite side. This isn't this the same thing I did before. I 
Honestly, I think this is what I did the first time. Let's try this. I can't remember for the life of me. So worst case scenario, this would effectively make sure that I did both sides. Okay, so let's try this one first. Then the opposite direction. Then the middle. Please be correct. Okay, now let's try it backwards. If this doesn't work, then it's literally gonna be like a one, two, three type of order. This place is loud. Okay. Let's try one, two, three then. Or technically. One, two, three, then three, two, one. Let's see if this works. Hey! Do you feel it? No. I guess we're going in. The wall shifted. Feel I wish I had not done that, but it's okay. Dude, I feel like these statues are gonna come alive any second now. I'm gonna die. Do they not look like they're gonna come alive? They definitely look like they're gonna come alive. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, this is That's it. The sound <clears throat> of Morkel. It's in some sort of hmm. What is that? A, a display? It's nestled in there tight. Of course we can't just take it. <sighs> There's a hammer in there. The hand of Morkel is held in something called the I think it said heart forge. Also, um Endless breath and untold rage lets purest heart release the hand. <laughs> Poets. What does that mean? We need to rekindle the forge. Endless breath has to mean bellows, and untold rage is a, a, a furnace? Strange way to say it. <sighs> I'm missing something. Can you look around for a bellows and some kind of blast furnace? Alright, what, uh, what should I do if I find them? Morkel clan prefers simple solutions that last. Look for switches or some kind of mechanism. We'll see what happens when you set things in motion. Oh, and stay alert. My ancestors would leave this place completely unguarded. Will do. Uh... So I guess this way? Oh god, I freaking knew it! That scared the hell out of me, not gonna lie. So it's definitely this way. Now I gotta be careful because the now now I definitely know these guys come alive. Man, I'm telling you, dude, that scared the hell out of me. I was not even though I saw it coming, it kinda scared the hell out of me. Bellows wheel lock. Do I just have to is this a puzzle or do I just have to push them? I wonder. I guess it wasn't a puzzle. So it started. That was easy enough. This actually is a lot easier than I expected. One of these are going to come alive very soon. No? Alright. Or not. So what do I do here? Oh, I saw it. Yeah. Hit him. Bam. Who else is coming no to life? Power left. You? Use a potion. Uh. 
circle of protection can now be morphed? That's Fighter's Guild. Uh... Turn evil. Ring of preservation for sure. Oh, there's a bridge right here. Blast furnace. Nice. Oh god, don't fall into the... <gasps> Let's not... Die here. You can't rely on magic. Change your strategy. You shut your mouth, Bastion. Don't tell me how to run. Tell you, you sustain. I think the biggest re one of the biggest reasons I want to change is either I don't really want to go for a DPS build on a Templar because I have other ways to do that. Instead, I kind of want to. I don't know, I kind of just want to keep this a hybrid build, but even then it's not really working because the stain's a problem. That's another reason why I kind of want to go to a Templar build, I mean to a Warden build. That should be it, right? I hope. Where am I supposed to go? I think I went the long way, to be honest. It's okay, though. We should be in the clear now. Hello, Ashaka. You did it. Now for purest heart. The old clan word for heart also means blood. Purest blood. Oracle blood? My father is Morkel's chief. My blood must work. Just a quick flash of the knife. I never understood how people could cut themselves like that. Look, it's opening. Like Sounds a painful. Opening. Oh. oh, the hand of Morkel is in our forge hammer. It's the cage around it. And if my clan's old word for heart also means blood, then this wasn't our heart forge. It was our... Blood Forge. My mother says we're the best smiths in Rothgar because we put heart in the steel. Whose heart? Whose blood? Morkel Clan hasn't had enemies since the days of Morkelvin. Did we feed our rivals to that thing? Wait. Your clan locked the forge hammer away? You're right. The old poems aren't about honor we lost when we left Morkelden. It's honor gained for burying our greatest shame beneath a mountain of ice. And a warning to stay away from the hand of Morkel, which... Well, we, we couldn't have known. Are you going to lock the hammer away? Not without blood magic. But I can't just leave it here. It's... It's our heritage. I'll bring it back to the stronghold, but what then? What do I tell my clan? Uh I mean I kind of agree with both. Uh cuz your strength an individual strength can come from embracing your past, right? But at the same time you are also equally as strong if you leave your past behind. I feel like there's a very unique middle ground in both of these situations that doesn't give you an option here, so kind of forces you to choose one or the other. So I think there's great benefit in actually keeping this. So Morkel Clan strength came from here. You should embrace your past. You're right. You forge a better blade by studying your past mistakes. I can't keep this from my clan. Perhaps there's a better way to use this place. An honorable way. What do you mean? 
Morkelden doesn't require the blood of our enemies. That's just how it was misused. Maybe the blood of frostbite spiders is enough. Blood, ichor, whatever. Okay, goodbye. I heard a rumbling when you rekindled the forge. Maybe another way out. Anything to avoid those ogres. Sounds like a plan. Wait, how do I get... How do I... Oh, it's just literally right around the corner? Uh-oh. Oh, this way. Maybe I should have just followed Look, her from the beginning. A door hidden by the ice. Is that... Sunlight? Uh, I don't see where you see the sunlight, but sure, why not Rothgar? Where exactly does it lead us? That's... Hmm, I wonder. Literally this some random hole in the wall. Sinium. Useful if we ever need to return to the blood, the heart forge. All right. Meet me at Morkel Stronghold. My God, we have to go far. Well, at least we're gonna pass. Oh God, it's a nice wraith. Run. The good thing is that we're gonna pass through a a uh, what is it called? A uh, way shrine on the way back, so there's that. Sorry, not doing side quests right now. Thank you, though. Whoops. Hurry up, Bastion. Stay with me. We have a long trek to go back. And it must happen. These are the situations in which I wish my mount was fully maxed out. Alrighty. Excuse me, coming through. We should be definitely here. So it's definitely up top. So I gotta go up here. Go around the corner. Right, this is the best way to get there. Bam, we're here. Come here. Stand by my side as I address the clan. I'm here, I'm here. Is that your ally, Ashaka? Are you gonna say anything? Quiet. Ashaka speaks on a matter concerning the clan. Morkel clan, our search is over. Today we are whole once more. <laughs> No longer shall we live in our ancestor's shadow. There is power in our blood, and at last we reclaim it. Behold the hand of Morkel. <laughs> and beneath the mountains, the great forge of Morkelden is rekindled. It is a new era for Morkel. A new era for orcs. Prepare yourselves, my clan. Soon we march to Orsinium. We shall build it anew. Nice. Shaka. Are you gonna say anything? Oh god, when it does this, it means the game's gonna crash soon. There we go. The use of the blood forge brings strife, but I will not allow us to look away. It is not in our nature. So what now? The game's definitely gonna crash. Maybe if I try to reload UI? Let's see if this works. Doubt it, but might as well try. <laughs> Let's see. The news of the blood. Okay, so what now? Hey, there we go. Now I name you Bloodkin to Morkel Clan. Last thing I'll do before heading to Arsinium. 
The king needs a clan who can work its great forge. And it will keep our clan away from Morkelden until I find a better way to use the blood forge. <laughs> uh, let me see. What is this? Magicka Recovery is a Trindamax Valor set. So Magicka Recovery, Magicka Recovery, or Maximum Magicka, Magicka Recovery. When you cast a damage shield, you call down a fragment of Trinomac that heals you and your group for 2,445 health and damages enemies 2,934 magic damage in a 5 meter radius after 2 seconds delay. This effect can occur once every 5 seconds and scales off the higher your magic or stamina damage or your maximum stamina. Uh, it's not, it's not horrible. I'm not sure if I like it though. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, we're golden. So let's talk to him and see if he will go to the moot. Mr. Moot Man. Ah, Kurag's outsider. I'm not sure what you did exactly, but you somehow restored peace to my family and thereby helped my clan. You have my thanks. <laughs> Uh, King Karab requests your presence at the Great Moot. Will you attend? Sure. Why not? I'll go to this moot and listen to what Kurag has to say. It's the least I can do after you helped us with our family problem. Perhaps I'll see you in Orsinium, outsider. Perhaps you will. Perhaps not. So we have one more to go. We're actually... We're actually doing pretty good progress. How do I get there? Oh god, except this is a long trek. I think the fastest way would probably be here, and then just take the road around. So let's go ahead and do that. It's actually not that bad of a distance from the location that I'm going to. How much money do I have? Almost nothing. This character is broke like a joke. Luckily I have a super fast horse that's not fast at all. He's fast in spirit. How do I get there? Let's try going around this way first. This place is very well defended. Oh, there we go. Greystone Quarry. I need to find out what happened in the quarry. Where's that elf we hired? Is that... Evely, maybe? Have you happened to see an elf around here? Tall, spindly, talks way too much for his own good. Well, it's definitely not Evely, because it's a his. Uh, I haven't seen anyone like that uh, recently. No, of course not. That would have been too easy. This is what I'd get for hiring a tuskless runt. He said he could improve efficiency in Greystone Quarry. What did we get for our trouble? First the fog, then the screams, then... Nothing. You haven't heard anything from the quarry? Not a word. And it smells like elf mischief to me. My husband, Chief Ramash, went down into the quarry to look for the elf and find out what happened to our workers. He came back covered in blood. And I can tell you, Ramash doesn't bleed easily. I could, tell, I could take a look in the quarry if you'd like. I'd appreciate any help you can provide. After what happened to the chief, the rest of the clan refuses to go anywhere near the quarry. If you can get in there, find out what happened, and make sure the quarry workers are safe. Where's the chief now? In the longhouse, tending to his wounds and raging about the troubles that have befallen us. By Malakath's crooked tusk. <laughs> Chiefs and they're howling. He's useless when he's like this. Wait, who are you again? I'm Chief Ramash's forge wife. Oh, got it. Tumnash is my clan. And Greystone is our quarry. These recent troubles, on top of the pressure to provide more stone for Orsinium, are beginning to take a toll on us. I tell you, it's enough to make Malakath weep. Tell me more about what happened here. It's all because of that damn city they're building. The king needs stone for Orsinium's walls, for its keeps, for its damn towers. I don't know where quarry overseer Yadurl found the elf, but he claimed he could increase our production tenfold. That's a bold claim. Typical elf. Too clever for his own good. All tricks and hasty maneuvers. 
But our clan depends on the quarry. It's our livelihood. If we can't determine what happened down there and fix it, the Tumnosh clan is finished. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Off to the clan we go, uh, to the quarry we go. I mean, it's not far. It's literally right here. Hello, excuse me. Coming down. I went the fast way. Shadows in the fog. He died. It's a freaking weird play. How do they get the stuff out? It's a tiny little crack. You talk to me. What are you doing down here? Don't you know the Greystone Quarry is a disaster area? I'm here to find out what happened. What happened? The High Elf. That's what happened. Things were fine for a while. Rock flowed out of the quarry at a record pace. But then we broke into a cavity and the Elf insisted on exploring it. That's when the fog began to roll out of the hole. Tell me about this fog. It was fog. Thick as stew it was. Chief Ramash and Huntwife Bulgar decided to enter the quarry and find out what happened to the elf and the workers. We went with them. Worst decision I ever made. <laughs> I could tell. What happened to the chief? We entered the fog, but we weren't alone in there. There were shadows, things in the fog. We were attacked. I saw the chief run out covered in blood. Bulgar still down there looking for her daughter. Last we knew, she was with the elf. I'll find them. Find the hunt wife and her daughter and kill as many of those things as you can. But the elf, save the elf for me. Okay. Uh, tell me about the things that attacked you. Like I said, it was dark, foggy. Couldn't make out anything except shapes, shadows, in the fog. Even though I couldn't see them clearly, I could hear them clanging around, skittering on sharp claws, and they moved fast, like lightning. That's weird. Any idea where the fog come from? We just entered the cavity when I noticed the strange pipes on the walls. If I had to guess, it was the steam coming out of those pipes that created the fog. Made it impossible for us to see, let alone fight. Those things had no trouble, though. Alright, I guess let's go find out what this weird fog stuff is. Dwarven spiders? I wasn't expecting that. lot going on here hello god I hate the sustained on this build so much I hate it with a passion it's the one of the biggest reasons why I want to go with warden okay well, screw that. Let's check out the map. I can't even use annulment. And I have it slotted. I thought I had. How many pieces? Oh no, I, I definitely don't think I have five pieces. I can replace that easily. It's not even a big deal. Ah! Bastion, I need your help because my build sucks. Should we fight that thing? 
Don't have a choice now. Well, I mean, it, it worked, I guess. Wait. There's something behind the stairs over there. You got that, Bastion. I believe in you. Hey! It's the Hunt Wife! I thought you were one of those damn machines. You're just lucky I've got the reflexes of a snow bear, or your guts would be decorating the floor. It doesn't... Now, care to explain what you're doing down here? Definitely doesn't seem like you'd be able to take me. I was looking for you, actually. Is this another of my husband's half-hearted rescue attempts? Whatever. Kind of. I guess I should be grateful. One of those metal spiders took a chunk out of my leg. Nothing too serious, but I can't fight worth a damn. So it's up to you to find my daughter. <gasps> How do you know she's still alive? That's a weird thing to ask. But I can hope, can I? <laughs> Besides, I haven't seen her corpse. And she is her father's daughter. Then there's the elf. He knows what he's doing. And has more than a few tricks up his sleeve to deal with the machines. Tell me about the High Elf. He's a clever <clears throat> bastard. I'll give him that. He knew there was a dwarven ruin down here and used us to uncover it. We should have been more careful. But he had significantly increased our production. And you know Orsinium. They always want more stone. Well, tell me about your daughter. Shabon. She's a brave young woman. Took an immediate interest in the High Elf and his fancy ways. The elf didn't seem to mind. In fact, I think he liked having someone strong and beautiful at his side. You find one, and you'll find the other. Alright, no worries. I'll find your daughter. Let's go kick some elf ass. Get over here. Done zo. We should literally be close. What is this over here? Whatever it is I'm looking for, it's down there. Oh, I thought I killed him. I guess not. Definitely don't want to jump down, though. That seems like a long way down. Very nice. Hello. Oh god. Oh god. So you got? He really thought he could take on Bastion. Bastion's a monster, man. Oh, there. You know what? Screw it. Hello. Oh, thanks, She's pretty. Rinamac. You're not one of those dwarven Dwemer things. But what are you doing down here? Did you come to help me escape from this damn quarry? I thought the quarry was up above. Our quarry, sure. But the dwarves carved out this quarry centuries ago. It looks like they started down here and were working their way up. But don't ask me what they used the stone for. I don't want to think about that. Where's that high elf? He told me to stay here while he went to investigate the central structure. He used his control rod to walk right past the machines. But apparently its protection doesn't extend to anyone else. That's what I get for trying to help an elf. I'll find that high elf. Dude, I'm gonna kick his little butt. It's not even funny. Even though I'm kind of an elf myself. Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. Bastion, I need your assistance, as always, because I'm incompetent all by myself. Oh, he's already dead. Hey, big guy. Oh, hello. Let's go. This is 
horrible. Okay then. You're done. And you're probably done. Kamehameha! Dude, there's so many freaking spiders in here, it's insane. Die already? Bastion, I need you to put out more uh, damage there, buddy. Alright, let me see. So he's literally right around the corner. We're gonna have to take these two guy out, uh, guys out, though. Seemingly, of course. Literally right there, I just saw him. I also don't get a lot of uh, sustain back for heavy attacking. That's probably because my passives aren't filled out. It's okay though. My god, dude, how many freaks? This is insane. There's too many of those things. It's Naramo? Ah, uh, what a surprise with Zark. Seems like we explored that place only yesterday. You do remember? Stros Makai, Duema Ruins, that adorable animunculus clanker. Those were good times. But now, to business. Naramo was behind all this? You're the High Elf working with the orcs? Ah, so you've met them. I really do feel awful about what happened. I offered my help because I suspected that the ruins of Mizendine were down here, but I never expected such powerful defenses. This place is remarkable. Defenses? You mean the constructs? Yes, but I was referring to the fog. It was a most curious thing. As soon as we unearthed the door to this place, a heavy fog set in and the Dwemer spiders swarmed us. I know how to handle Dwarven Constructs. The Orcs, sadly, do not. Do you have a plan for dealing for the co uh, with the Constructs? My control rod can only handle a few Constructs at a time. The scale of this place is well beyond its capabilities. There may be an alternative, however. If we can find the Construct Control Center, we may be able to take command of the Constructs. So this was all just an unexpected and tra tragic situation then. I'll look for the control tower. It's not really his fault. He's just here doing what he does best. That's interesting. That took a little turn. It's beautiful. Talk to me, Naramo. Our paths cross again. Thank the eight. It's amazing how often good research leads to remarkable discoveries. Since we parted, I have come to the conclusion that this is an automated quarry. Like the orc pit above, only much more sophisticated. That's a pretty impressive machine behind you. Isn't it, though? That's what we in the business call a remarkably well-preserved orb of illumination. I believe this dwarven device may contain the key that allows us to bring Mizendine's defenses under our control. How does an orb of illusion work? Or illumination work? Think of the device as a gigantic combination lock. These emitters shine light upward towards the various lenses attached to the rings. If you rotate the lenses to a specific orientation, the device should unlock. How do we know what the correct orientation is? Trial and error. Like any other scientific endeavor, 
But be sure to keenly observe every rotation of the rings. That's the key to our success. We can manipulate the three kinetic resonators to adjust the lenses and rotate the rings. Follow me. After you then, Naramo. Man, all of this is a trip, dude. I was not expecting to see Naramo down here. This reminds me of Skyrim so much, it's not even funny. <clears throat> you gonna say anything? No? Alright. Reset lever. This is... This is weird. What do we have to... What are we supposed to do here? Hit kinetic resonators? Is that these things? I'm gonna have to... You know what? I'm gonna Google the answers because I don't want to be here all day. So, let me see. Let me Google this real quick. Quar... Whoops. Conundrum puzzle. Let me see if I could find the password. Alright, I found it. So hit the left one six times. One, two, Courage brings victory. three, four, five, six. No remorse. Then the center one three times. One, two, three. And then the right one once. Is that it? I think we have to wait for it to completely go down, like up and then down. Alright, so let me see. One. Two. Let's try it this way. Three. Seems like it's doing better. Four. Five. Two arms! What are you yelling about, Bastion? Shut up. Six. One. This one's three times. Two. Three. And then one. There we go. Hey, Naramo. That was easy. Fascinating. I never imagined the control mechanism would fit inside so small a space. It will take me some time to master this device. But with it, I'm sure I can suppress the outer defenses and return the quarry to a relatively safe state. So, you were helping the orcs... ...work their quarry? We had a mutually beneficial arrangement. I taught them techniques for excavating the quarry more efficiently while they removed the stone that was blocking the entrance to this ruin. Did the orcs know they were helping you excavate a Dormer ruin? Um, well, no. <laughs> but they never would have gone along with it otherwise. And they would have found it eventually, right? Maybe. The fact is, I had no idea that the Dwemer constructs would be so... excitable. That's one way to put it. You know the orcs are not happy with you, right? I suspected as much. I did my best to help them, but there was so much confusion. If I can take control of the defenses and give the orcs their quarry back, maybe that will make up for my negligence. And maybe they won't kill me. <laughs> at least, at least he's self-aware. It didn't update. Okay, so can you tell the orcs the they can reopen the ex uh, exterior so quarry now? Oh yes, it's perfectly safe to work the quarry again. <sighs> and please give the orcs my deepest and most sincere apology regarding these unfortunate circumstances. Naramo, I swear to God, you're an idiot. Aren't you coming with me? I, I have something I want to try first. Something that will help repay the orcs for my. Indiscretion. What are you planning? 
If I can make a few adjustments, I want to offer the constructs to the orcs. I'm sure they'll make excellent workers. I'll join you up above shortly. Alright. At least it updated, finally. So is there a fast way out of here? Doesn't really look like it. That was completely unexpected, not gonna lie. Oh my god, I am not gonna fight all these guys all over again. Run! I'm gonna have to. Come on, let's go. Looks like that guy took care of most of our issues. Graystone Quarry Depths. So up. Uh... It looks like we just make a right. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You don't see nothing. Let's go. Run. I'm trying to go, Bastion, but these guys don't let me. This is the exit, right? Bam. That was perfect. No combat or nothing. There had to be a better way to get out of here, to be honest, but... Oh, well. Oh. Hello. As soon as our scouts sent word that people were emerging from the quarry, I hurried down to see what was happening. So, where's that damned elf and what did he do? Uh, Naramo found a dwarven ruin under the quarry. Dwarves? <clears throat> That's the last thing I expected. From the stories I've heard, things involving ancient ruins and dwarves never turn out well. Yeah, the constructs on in there went on a rampage, but Naramo was able to get it under control. Then the elf survived? Perfect. That means I still get to wring his scrawny neck. <laughs> One moment. What's that sound? Troll dung, it's the constructs. The damn elf betrayed us. Wait, he just wants to... To arms, my clan mates. Let's show this mad elf what we think of his dwarven <laughs> army. Don't be alarmed. I bring a gift. These constructs can work your quarry and build the great city of Orsinium. Damn you, elf. I should kill you where you stand. What did I say? Please, my friend, make her see reason. I mean, he's not a bad guy. He just made a he mistake. Got half my workers killed, and now he insults us as well? The elf's blood price is steep, and he's going to pay it very slowly. <laughs> Hasn't there been enough blood spilled? Naramo's literally just trying to help you. Raystone Quarry belongs to Clan Tomnosh. It should be worked by Clan Tomnosh, not those metal monsters. As long as one Tomnosh lives, we'll extract stone from this quarry just the way Malakath intended. In what way is that? With orc sweat and orc muscle. We dishonor ourselves and our ancestors if we sat back and let machines do all the work for us. It figures that an elf would come up with such a disgraceful and dastardly plan. Look, just take the constructs as your blood price and use them until you regain your strength. You said yourself, half your people are dead. You can use these constructs. Their worth is considerable, and we'd be able to keep our quotas as we build back up. You're right. Thank you for letting me see beyond my rage. Per another pariah set. And of course. Trash. Perfecto changeo. So now we go actually recruit these guys, right? Or not necessarily recruit, but get them to join the moot. Or to attend the moot, I should say. How do I get in there? Alright, perfect. It actually ended up pretty... It, it ended up pretty... Being pretty... Well, I think. We haven't even met this guy yet, because we went straight to the quest. Hello. Ah, outsider. I confess I had my doubts, but my forge wife tells me you were as good as your word. Thank you for helping restore order to the Greystone Quarry. Uh, King Kral requests your presence at the Great Moot. Will you attend? Oh, very well. You performed a vital service for my clan. The least I can do is go and listen to whatever fancy words Kurog wants to shout at us this time. 
I'll see you in Orsinium, outsider. Yay! I'm gonna just straight up fast travel there. Wait, hold on. Let me let me get out of here first, cause I think I have to go back to. Yeah. Okay. Should be pretty interesting to see what he says. How do I get to the... It's literally right around the corner. I wish I could just skip straight there, but I can't. I welcome Morpho Pan to Orsinium. Their work is without compare. In some years... I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but I have to go tell the king. Oh, is he in the bar? He's always in the freaking bar. This guy is kind of useless, to be honest. Where is he? There he is. Look at that. Still drinking his life away, as always. And my champion returns. Still alive. And with most of your vital body parts intact. <laughs> my shield wives owe me. I told them not to bet against me. But enough of that. Were you successful? Are the clan chiefs going to attend the moot? Yeah, the clan chiefs uh, have agreed to attend the moot. Perfect. You've done me a great service, my friend. The moot will be remembered as the turning point for Rothgar. <coughs> the day when all the clans united under the rule of a strong and visionary king. A new golden age for the Orsimer begins here. What happens now? Now? Why, we prepare for the moot, of course. It will be packed. Clan chiefs from the farthest reaches of Rothgar will come together to finally accept my vision for the future. This is how a kingdom is born. Too bad Bosrog is going to miss it. Chief Bosrog's not attending the Great Moot? Don't worry about Bosrog. He hasn't been seen since the attack on the temple. He's probably gone so deep into hiding or run so far away that we'll never see that traitor again. You don't seem very concerned about Chief Bosrog. Why should I be? You're concerned enough for both of us. <laughs> but come on, you're worse than my shield wives. Have a drink. Have the whole damn keg if you want. And take this, for services rendered. Now, all we have to do is sit back and wait. After everything, he literally just gives me 300 gold. Almost 400, that, okay. Sure, why not? In the name of the king. So are we gonna get a messenger again? Hello! <gasps> Emily! I've been looking all over the city for you. That is awesome, let's talk to her and see what she says. Hello. 